When we think of the terms research and inquiry, we may think that they are synonyms, and we wouldn't be totally wrong. Both research and inquiry involve the examination and investigation of facts or principles. So what do we mean by the idea of research as inquiry? Basically, we are saying that research is a continuous process that relies on asking new or complex questions. The answers we get from that process will also lead to creating additional questions or lines of inquiry in any field. When we are faced with a research project, we usually are trying to answer a question or solve a problem. Sometimes it seems like the easiest way to approach a project is to dive right in without really considering what we actually need to know. We also may think one quick search is enough and that the results from that one effort is all that exists within our topic or question. But in fact, research really is a process. The first thing that should be considered is what our research topic should be. This may be defined based on what the research assignment is, but it should also be something that interests you. Let's say I'm in a military history class, and for my final paper, I want to write about the Civil War because I am interested in American history. While this topic interests me personally, and is also relevant to my class, I will probably find that searching American Civil War yields far too many results. So what do we do next? Well, the American Civil War is our broad topic. Let's narrow our topic to something that is more specific and manageable as we conduct our research. Perhaps I'm also interested in the history of women in the military, so a narrower topic could combine those interests into the role of women in the American Civil War. With this newly focused topic, we can conduct some preliminary research. This could be heading to Wikipedia or using Google, but it's advisable to use encyclopedias or reference materials from your library since you won't have to second guess the accuracy of that information. This will help in making sure we are well versed in the fundamental areas of our topic and can also give a better sense of what information will be available. Based off our narrow topic and our preliminary research, we can come up with a few research questions. Now why are these questions important? Well, having a research question provides you with a roadmap for your research. Also being able to answer your question often provides you with a thesis or a hypothesis, something you will always need in a research paper or project. It's very possible that your topic and research question will change as you go through this process. I may start wanting to know about the role women had in the American Civil War, but my final paper or project may focus on the women disguised as men who fought in the American Civil War. You shouldn't be alarmed if your research leads you into new, uncharted, and unplanned areas, especially if you work in advance and overcome those roadblocks early in your research process. Just remember that research does not follow a linear path, and often the more interesting questions and topics are the ones you didn't consider in the first place. Created using Powtoon.